Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I'll be showing you step by step how to create and list a digital product on your Shopify website. If you're a newbie or a beginner with Shopify, I'll be showing you a beginner friendly way that you can create a brand new product on your Shopify store and how you can customize it for if it's a digital download product. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. To get started, I'll first be showing you how to add a product to your Shopify store. I'll also be showing you how to create a product collection and how to add that digital product to the product collection so that you can feature the collection on your website. After that, I'm going to show you how to install your digital downloads app so that you can link your digital download file to the product so your customers will be able to receive that file after their order. To get started, you'll want to open your Shopify store and I'm going to click to open the products page. This is the page where you'll be able to open an existing product and you can also add a brand new product. I'm going to click add product and here it's opened the product information page. On this page, you'll be able to fill in a variety of details for your digital product. And since this is a digital product, I'm going to start by unselecting the track quantity and I'm going to also unselect this is a physical product. I'm going to scroll up and you can start off by titling your digital product. When you title your digital product, you can include a few details of the different sections and features that your digital product has. Under the description field is where you can add in your product description and you want to be sure to include any specifications, features, and details about your digital product. For a tip with your product description, you can choose to use AI tools like ChatGPT to write your product description for you. Here I've opened ChatGPT and here I've put in a detailed prompt to ask it to generate a product description for this example digital yearly planner product. And using ChatGPT can help you to save time from writing your description from scratch. And you want to be sure to ask it to generate a description that mentions that the product is a digital download. I'm going to select and copy this description text. And then you can paste your description in the description field. And you can go in and choose to customize the text further and make any changes. And you'll have a variety of editing options for the description text. You can also choose to insert images and videos throughout your product description if you would like. Under media is where you can begin uploading cover pictures for your digital product. For example, if you've created the cover for your ebook or digital planner, you can upload the covers or the mockups that you've created here in your media gallery. Here I've uploaded my cover picture for the yearly planner. Under category is where you can select the product category for your digital product. Then next you can customize the pricing category so you can insert the price of your planner and you can even choose if you would like to add the compare at price. Once you scroll down further, I'm going to scroll below the inventory in the shipping section. You have additional editing options that you can choose if you would like to customize. So you can customize your category meta fields and the search engine display for your product. When you scroll to the top of your product information page, you want to be sure that the status of your product is set to active. This way it will appear visible in your online store. You can also set this to draft in case it's just an example product that you don't want to appear in your online store just yet. Under product organization, this is where you can type in to clarify the type of product you're listing. You can list yourself as the vendor for your digital product. And you can also select which product collection you would like to add the product to. In just a moment, I'm going to cover how to add a product collection so that you can add your product to the collection. Under tags is where you can list the different tags for your digital product. Your tags will be the different search terms that customers will be searching in your website to look for that specific product. And once you've added your product tags, that is an overview for a beginner friendly way that you can create a product. I'm going to click save to save this product. And next I'll be covering how to add the product to a product collection so that you can display your digital product on your website's homepage. And then I'll be showing you how to install your digital downloads app so that you can connect your digital download file. To add a product collection, I'm going to click collections and then I'm going to click create collection. And this will be the page where you can customize your collection. You can title your collection and you can also choose if you would like to add a mini description to describe the collection. I'm going to save this collection and then when you click browse, this is where you'll be able to select which of your digital products you would like to add to that collection. And that's how to create a collection and add products to it. And then I'll be showing you how to feature your digital products on your website's homepage. First, you want to go on to customize your currently published website and on your website's homepage, you can determine where you would like to add a featured collection to display that new collection that you just created. Once you know where you're going to place your featured collection, you want to click add section and then you can select to upload a featured collection. The featured collection is going to display that new product collection that you just created. 
Once you insert that section, you'll have a variety of editing options. You can retitle the heading text, and then when you click select, you'll be able to select to feature that new collection that you just created. And that is a quick way to add a featured collection to your website. Feel free to play around with the customization options for your featured collection. If you also want to preview your homepage, you want to click the three dots in your upper left hand corner. And when you click view, you can see the more official version of the display of your homepage. And you can go ahead and open up that product you just created so that you can take a look at your new product page. Creating separate product collections to organize each of your digital products can be a great way to keep your website organized. Also, if you guys like the layout and style of this website you see here, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of different Shopify theme templates designed for different types of businesses. These can help you to build your website and have a professional look and layout to display your products, services, and more without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. In case you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, the Shopify theme will arrive in a zip file format. And when you open Shopify, then click add theme, then upload a zip file. You'll have the option to upload that website theme straight into your store and you can publish it and begin editing it and adding your products. And my Shopify templates are template bundles. So they do include installation guides with instructions and screenshots to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And I have a wide variety of Shopify themes designed for beauty, makeup and skincare businesses, clothing and accessory businesses. And I also have Shopify themes for dropshipping stores and coaching businesses. Most of my Shopify template bundles also include additional templates like web banner templates, logo templates and more. If you're looking to save the time from having to design and lay out your website from scratch, you can grab one of my Shopify themes from my website, which I will link in the description box below. Next, I'll be showing you how to install a digital downloads app into your Shopify store. So here in the search bar, I'll be opening up the Shopify app store. And this is where you can search for any apps that you would like to install into your Shopify store. I've searched digital downloads in the search bar and I'll be opening up the digital downloads app this is a free digital downloads app and I'm going to install this into my store. Then once you've installed the app into your store, you can choose if you would like to pin it to your navigation. You'll be able to search through to find a specific product. So for example, this is the product that I'll be attaching the order file to. So over here under digital files, when you click add digital files, this is where you'll be able to click add files and you can upload your order files. So if your digital download file, is in a zip format, a PDF format, and other file types, you can upload it here. And that's how to attach your digital download file to the digital product that you listed on Shopify. And then I'm gonna click save. This way after customers order the digital product, they'll be sent an email that includes the download link for their order. And that's how to install the digital downloads app into your store and how to link a product to it. And then I'm gonna go in to open my website and I'll be opening up one of my example products and I'll be showing you a way that you can customize your product information page. So when you open up one of your products, you'll be able to click on the product information box and you'll see over here a variety of editing options that you have for the display of this page. So for an example, you can select if you would like to enable the sticky content on desktop. So when I unselect that, it's not gonna move this side of the page that has the product description. You could also select if you would like to apply a different color scheme to this section. I recommend selecting a color scheme that ties in with the rest of your website's style and color scheme. So I'm just selecting my color scheme one. Under media is where you can adjust the display of the media for this product information page. You can choose if you would like to adjust the desktop media width, which can adjust how much space your pictures take up on the screen. And you can also select if you would like to constrain the media or not to the screen height. For the media fit, you can play around with if it looks better with the fill or with the original setting. Under desktop layout is where you can customize the display of the pictures for it if you have a variety of pictures added to your product. And then you can adjust the desktop media position for in case you would like the picture to be on the right or the left side of the screen on a desktop device. You can also choose to adjust the image zoom setting. So right now if I click on the image, it's going to show that image up close and that's the open light box setting. You can also apply different settings. So I'm going to set the click and hover. This way when customers click on the image, they'll be able to click to zoom in to the image. You can also select no zoom, which will keep that image set in place. I'll just be selecting the original open light box setting. Then you can also adjust the section padding. The section padding would be how much space your product information box has at the top and also at the bottom of it. So you'll see when you increase the top padding, it's gonna give it a little bit more of a spread out look to your product information page. And also when you click on each of these individual elements, like the title, 
the price, and even this little quantity bar. You can choose if you would like to reposition these elements on your product page. You can also choose if you would like to hide any of the elements on this page or delete them. And those are a few other customization options that you have for your digital product on Shopify. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're going to receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the sections and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. And if in general you're not too familiar with Shopify, I do have a Shopify basics guide. This is a guide I've put together that includes a lot of info for if you're a beginner with Shopify. The guide covers things like how to read your analytics page, how to set up your shipping policies, and more. In this guide, I've included screenshots and written text explainers to help you understand each section of the guide. I will link that in my description box below as well. Thank you all so much for watching.